it's another sunday dinner vlog today i am making curried goat belly you know how long me not eat this i am so happy i'm gonna be having it with some gungo rice and peas hi everyone welcome back to hobby rose cook if it's your first time here my name is marceline welcome and i'm happy to have you normally growing up in jamaica we don't eat this from any and anybody because it has to be cleaned properly however here we don't have a choice so we did scald it and we did pre-season and have it in the freezer so you won't see me add any powdered seasoning but you can go ahead and season to your liking i'm gonna go ahead and add my chopped scallion garlic and onion and then i'm gonna add just a pinch of masala for the curry i'll be using two different types and i have here in this container some better pot curry i'm gonna use and i'm also gonna be using some blue mountain the better pack has like a deep rich turmeric color and this one more of a yellow color so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add some oil and that will help the seasoning to adhere to the meat now you're gonna get out your favorite pot now i'm gonna take out my old faithful dutch pot i'm gonna get it well heated and then we're going to add our oil to release extra flavor you're gonna add a teaspoon of curry to your oil leave it for about a minute on medium heat now i'm just gonna add a little water in this container just enough to rinse it out This sauteing process is going to continue for about five minutes. I'm also going to be adding some pimento seeds in there and we allow it to go ahead and saute and release all those good flavors. I'm gonna go ahead and cover the pot when it's covered it will give off a steam produce its own liquid after a few minutes we're gonna remove the cover and I already have my water boiling in my kettle we don't want to add any cold water we want to continue with the cooking process so we're gonna add hot water after every 10 minutes interval you can go ahead and continue adding hot water just allow the meat to be submerged in the water and it will cook faster However, if you are in a rush, you can go ahead, add it to your pressure cooker, no problem. But not everyone likes their meat pressured. So whatever pleases you, go ahead and do that until your meat is nice and tender. Now that my meat is getting soft, I'm going to go ahead and add all my veggies. I'm also going to add some more skelly and onion. I'm adding my thyme and allow them to cook as soon as they cook you can take out a piece depending on how you like your gravy if you like it with a little body you can mash piece of your potato add it back to the pot and let it cook down to your gravy consistency depending on who you're cooking for most jamaicans don't like little bit of gravy so once my gravy reaches a semi-thick consistency, I'm going to remove it from the heat. Please. To start off, we're going to melt a quarter stick of butter. And that is if you like butter in your rice and peas. If you don't, then you can totally go ahead and skip this step. After melting the butter, I'm going to go ahead and add some browning. This is my trick to get a nice color on the rice and peas. It will make the rice and peas look as if you're using the dry gungu from the Mayad. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add that. We're going to add our skillion, our thyme, our scotch bonnet pepper. All the good stuff that you would normally add in your rice and peas, we're going to go ahead and add that. Now we're adding our coconut milk. Altogether, I will be using four cups of coconut milk. Then I'm going to add half cup of water by just rinsing out this same bottle that the coconut milk was in. All right. So now you're going to go ahead and spice up your pot. You're going to add your pimento seed, your thyme, your scotch bonnet pepper. We're going to add some salt to taste. And if you like seasoning in your rice and peas, you can add just a little all-purpose seasoning. 
And don't forget to go ahead and taste your pot to see if it has your desired taste and adjust as you go along. All right, because one thing you can't do is remove salt out of your pot. So you wanna add it gradually, all right? Also, if you fall in that percentage of persons who like to add sugar in your rice and peas, then feel free to go ahead and do that. Now I'm adding two cans of gungu. I'm adding two cans because we love gungu in this house. If you don't want to add two cans, you don't necessarily have to, but we like a lot of gungo peas, all right? And this is a color. As you can see, it has like a caramel color from the browning. I use a browning that is not bitter. I would say if you're watching from Jamaica, go for the Eve browning, all right? So now we're going to go ahead, add our rice, and we're going to stir this up, and we're going to go ahead and allow this to come to a boil. After it comes to a boil, I'm going to go ahead and turn the stove down. You want your rice to cook slowly. Otherwise, the liquid will dry out and you're left with just tough grains. All right, so now it has dried out and it has steamed. All my rice grain is cooked. The first thing I'm going to do is remove my pepper. And you also want to remove your scallion and stuff so that it doesn't end up in someone's plate. And as you can see, I'm fluffing the rice to make sure that everything that is in the middle and the bottom comes up on top that way you can ensure that all the rice grain is cooked properly and of course the chef always have to taste the food make sure you taste your food yeah that is why when we finish cooking we don't normally eat right away because our belly is full from all the tasting and the rice was perfect the coconut milk all the spices and herbs everything was just amazing and i had this with curried goat belly and some braised chicken this braised chicken was so so good oh my god and you know we have to have our vegetable on the side with some cherry tomatoes and some plantains the only thing missing is a piece of avocado but that's okay this meal was absolutely perfect and this is my favorite way to make my gungo rice and peas in the States. You know, you're not in Jamaica where you get the nice dry gungo from the tree. So this is the next best way to make it. I promise you, go ahead, give it a try. And then you can come back in the comment section and tell me how it went. And the goat meat, it was excellent. It was perfect. Thank you all so much for watching my video. Have yourself a productive week ahead. Walk good, stay safe, show some love to your friends and your neighbor, and I'll catch you in my next video. Braised chicken video coming up soon. And yeah, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. I would most definitely appreciate that. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed that video and stay tuned for many more amazing recipes.